Here is another method of changing the elbow radius. We need to click, click this family and change to 1.5 curves so we can see better. Now I want to change this radius so I can specify either 100 from this part to the end of the dot. So let's create, select this and let's duplicate it so we can change it later. Let's duplicate the name to 100 R, which is the radius. Okay. Okay. We'll just maintain it and let's edit this family. Now here we have the 3D view and we have also the reference time. Here we can see that the center radius is shown. If it's not shown, that's you have to go to BG and click annotation and check this box. Let's uncheck it. Typically you won't find it shown in this dimension, especially on the reference time. So type in BG, which is visibility, visibility graphics. Go to annotation categories and select show annotation category. Automatic sketch technology. Click apply and load. So what's driving this dimension? Center radius, if you go to this formula, center radius is a formula of radius multiplier, which is 1.5 and that. So what you need to do is create a parameter which will replace this radius multiplier and that parameter will be the radius we're going to have it 100 mm 200 mm or 300 mm we don't need to have the radius multiplier so how do we do that let's click apply okay. here is our neck or the end of the radius width so let's set a parameter for this uh dimension let's select it and let's create a parameter for this dimension. Let's create it as radius. Click type and select type and the measure. Now this radius, we need to have this reference to this center radius, which is driving the, uh, the, the width of the center or the center of the elbow. So here we need to go to the family types again. The center radius, we have to replace the radius multiplier with radius. So let's currently based on 1.5, it's about 300. So let's set, take out and delete the radius. Then we need to add the dot width divide by 2. Click apply. So it means this 300 plus half of the dot width is the center radius which is still correct we just replace the radius multiplier parameter with the radius so here actually we can also uh, edit the parameter if you want something deleted you can actually delete this parameter as we don't need it see that the family is still working without the radius parameter in radius multiplier we still have the dot and let's try and let's use the formula and see if the elbow will follow this radius. So let's go and set it to 100. So now the radius is 100. Let's set it to 200. Apply and click. It's going to be 200. Radius. So now let's load this back to the family, but no. Before that, we have to save it into another file so we don't override the existing system. So let's have this as radius uh, 100 mm. Option. Okay, click save. And then load this into the project. Now, here is the radius, but we don't need this one first. Here we have an option of changing it now because there is another radius which is radius 100 and we need to set it to this type radius 100 now. Click apply. As you can see the radius has changed 
if we measure this radius from this square, 300. Let's edit it. Oh, yes, we haven't changed it, so change it to 100. Click apply and click. So here we have set the radius to 100 and using the original that PP. We need to delete those types, so let's edit it. Let's delete the other type of this elbow, which is this part. You can see that's still still listed. So let's go to that fittings, rectangular area edges, and then let's select this unnecessary things and let's delete. Now, once you go back here, you'll see that the selection has been removed. So that is how to remove the unnecessary selections for the duck elbow. Here we can have a parametric elbow now. Let's set it to 200. It will automatically follow the settings to 200. Let's measure it again just to make sure it has followed. It's 200. So that is another method of changing the duck between ranges elbow to your preferred uh, ranges or settings and parameters.